outside. We've woken up at 6 a.m. and we've woken up this early because we're heading to a place called Playa Balandra that's really popular and because of COVID they only let I think around what was it 120 people? Yeah something like that. Yeah 120 people in the beach a day not at the same time I think in the entire day and all the reviews say you have to wake up at 6 a.m to be able to get in or, or else you're not gonna get in so yeah I think that's the first time that we're ever waking up this early for a beach but that's what we're doing and yeah hopefully we can make it because it's an awesome beach I think we're gonna make it. We made it in. You don't have to pay anything, they're just getting your name and seeing how many people are in your car because of the, the person limit. So yeah, I was happy we made it in. We got a bit worried when there was a big queue. I'm actually surprised so many people would wake up that early to get to a beach where we're, we're not the Tuesday. only ones. What? It's a Tuesday, it's not a week, uh, weekend. Yeah, it's a Tuesday. Weekend must be impossible. <laughs> Look at this car park, this early, crazy. And the sun's just coming up right now, it seems. All right, the first thing that you do when you arrive at the beach, take, take a nap. Take a nap. <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna sleep for a bit. It's, freeze it's freezing outside, so yeah, we need the sun to come up and then we'll head out. So we ended up sleeping for like two hours. It's almost 10 a.m. now. And yeah, it's a little bit warmer. Everyone's in their coats and hoodies because it's a really cold breeze. But this is why we came to this beach, Balandra Beach, once again. Yeah. Second time. Second time. <laughs> There's all this um, algae here. This wasn't here last time, was it? No, no, I don't remember. It was all like the pure blue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if you look back there, so that's the color it was all last time. Even down there it is as well. Maybe we should head down that way. Those are different shades of blue. Yeah, that's what I like about this beach. Yeah. <laughs> you remember last time though, I think even during high tide, you can like lie down in the middle. Yeah, I, th I remember we went there and we were just chilling there. And we had a picture there actually. <laughs> yeah, it never gets that deep, I don't think. So, so right now you can walk all across. It's actually a bay, Balandra Bay. So this is Balandra Beach. But if you look around the bay, there's loads of other beaches. So there's one there, one there, one there, one there. There must be like, I don't know, maybe 10 overall. There's some around this corner as well. So we're probably checking out a few of those. Carol, let, let's head to the island. The small sandbank. The small sandbank. So I think when it gets lower tide, all this is gonna, gonna become a big sandbank or something. Well, we'll see in two hours time. 
pretty cool. Last time we couldn't walk around here. Oh, yeah, because it's full of water. So maybe we should just walk to the other beach. <laughs> yeah, instead of doing the hike, yeah, I guess we can just walk. Right? Yeah. So a quick four minute walk and we're at the next beach in the bay. More of a deserted beach, no umbrellas or sunbeds or anything on this one. <laughs> Man, this place is too good. Yeah, that's why it's famous for being the most beautiful beach in Mexico. Yeah, many people say that, right? Yeah. And I think we agree, right? Yeah, I think so. It's definitely the most beautiful bay. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of you guys that are watching this that didn't know about this place might have not expected that uh, Mexico has landscapes like you can find around Baja California Sur. I think a lot of people just think it's all uh, tropical, right? Like rainforest and jungle, which is probably what I thought as well before we came here a few years ago. But yeah, you also get places like this. So diverse. Yeah, it's awesome how you can just walk everywhere out here, right in the beautiful water. So last time we rented a kayak and it ended up just being kind of pointless since we could just walk everywhere. And I think in the end it got too shallow, so we had to both get out and pull it along. So yeah, not renting a kayak this time. Yeah, this really does look something else though. Easily one of the most beautiful beach places we've ever been to. So we've come to see the famous Hongo de Balandre, which is a rock shaped like a, a mushroom. A lot of people here, everybody wants to take photos at this spot. So this is it, the, the mushroom rock. Really unusual. Kind of crazy how it's still stood up with that super thin base. And look at the amazing colors behind. So this is where it gets deep. So that's why you get the really dark shades of blue over there. Too beautiful this place. Maybe it's man-made actually. Looks like there's cement. Or maybe they did that to hold it up, I don't know. Oh no, this looks like it's metal. Yeah, maybe it is man-made then. Yeah, so here's a sign about the the mushroom rock. So it says it's the iconic sign of La Paz. And two decades ago it fell down because of irresponsible tourists. So yeah, that's why they reconstructed it again. So we're gonna do a trail now. We didn't do this last time, but yeah, I think you can walk all along the top of these rocks and we should be able to see the other beaches back there. Yeah, and get some awesome views like this. It looks surreal. Yeah, it gets even better. Yeah, the higher you get.
Wow, <laughs> another incredible deserted beach. There's actually people on it. Maybe they come from this baller boat over here. Huge, huge boat over there. But yeah, this one looks amazing as well. Pretty much no algae, just a little bit. Yes, I think you can go on a trail all the way down, right? I don't think we're gonna be going to that beach. We've already got loads of beaches back there. But there's trails all over these mountains, so. Yeah, you can do a lot of walking. There's more beaches over there as well, if you just keep walking. Yeah, this is why we woke up at 6 a.m. because since we came here last time, we knew it was awesome. But we didn't even see all these other beaches last time. We just stayed on the main beach over there pretty much. So it's looking even better this time. Yeah, now it's uh, officially getting hot. No more icy cold breeze. So I think we need to get in that water. It's pretty much like sand dunes on this part of the beach. Oh yeah, this is a, a sand dune. Wow, look at all the, the boats now around the mushroom rock. So there's lots of boat tours from La Paz. Obviously some will drop you here in the bay. And we did one where we went snorkeling with sea lions and that was probably like our best ever snorkeling experience. Yeah, it was so fun and I'm not sure if we're going to do it again, but it was definitely an uh, unforgettable experience. Yeah, definitely worth it if you come in here. They, uh, they play with you as well, the sea lions, they're like puppies. When, when we went there, we thought they'd be like scared or stay a distance from us, but yeah, they come up. They'd even like playfully bite you. Not strong, just... Just messing around, just playing around. <laughs> So we decided to cross over the bay. Yeah, we're gonna check out a few of those beaches over there and then actually relax now. That the temperature's nice. Stop walking around doing exercise. Still can't get over these landscapes though with all these big brown mountains everywhere. Looks amazing. Yeah, I'm not sure if we're gonna risk trying to cross there. It does seem to get a bit deep. We're seeing people come back. And Carol's got a camera. That's not waterproof. Yeah, you also have a drone. Yeah, I've got a drone as well. And I, I don't have the, the dry bag, the wet bag. So yeah, it's not waterproof at all. 
But look at this like little sandbar that's appeared right now in the middle. Big one actually, so yeah, I think we'll hang out here. Our private island, once again. We didn't stay on the sandbar that long, only for like 20 minutes. The, the tide's coming in, so the sandbar's disappearing now. And we're getting hungry, but we have some pizza in the car from yesterday. So we got our pizzas and cheesecake in the microwave. Cheese bread. Cheese bread, cheesecake. cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was still cold from the, the fridge. Wow, that's still got ice in it. Yeah. Even in the heat. Yeah, it was frozen, so now it's defrosty. And since they only let 120 people in during the day, it's pretty much empty now, because obviously pretty much all those 120 people come right in the morning, right at 6 a.m. And just people start leaving during the day. So right now there's barely any cars, it's almost empty. And yeah, I guess people can't enter because once it's hit 120, no more, no more people are entering all day, even, even if people leave. Pretty bizarre. A really cool thing about this area is it's a protected area. So even though it's like super popular with tourism now, it's not like destroyed or anything. You're not going to find hotels. There's no uh, litter, nothing pretty much. It's basically exactly the same as it was when we came four years ago even though it's way more popular now and yeah i guess it's always going to stay that way i i hope so always protected that's really tasty right mm -hmm. yeah little caesars i like it better than cheese bread pizza, actually yeah i think i do as well it has a bit of garlic i think mm -hmm, that's yeah. why i like it <laughs> delicious and if you come in here you don't have to bring food like we did there is a beach right next to this one called tecolote and we went there last time and they have loads of like beach restaurants and stuff and it's a pretty nice beach as well nothing compared to to here well i don't think anything in mexico is compared to here to be honest i think this is definitely the best place in mexico but yeah you can just drive there it's like i guess like one or two minutes in the car and loads of options for food So we were planning on heading to a viewpoint that's right near Balandra on the map across the bay, but it's closed. It's back there. There's a sign saying it's closed now, private property. We saw cool pictures from over there, but yeah, apparently it's closed for good. I don't think that's to do with COVID. I think it's just closed forever now. Just like everywhere around here, still got all the cactuses all over the place. That's what I love about Baja California so like besides uh, Los Cabos, everywhere is just one big desert. You're like in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> it's an awesome feeling. I think I might get the drone out one last time because yeah, me and Carol said should probably film the, the yeah, mountains, the right? Mountains and the <laughs> yeah, I'll try and get close to the cactuses, but yeah, these mountains look too cool.
place in La Paz now. Just leaving this uh, bumpy piece of land that we <laughs> that we've driven on. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for today. Probably just gonna go home and try and edit a video to get the midweek video out. That's what we usually try, uh, two videos a week. Doesn't always work out, but yeah, hopefully this week it will. And in the next video, we're heading up north to a place called Loreto. And all the, all the places that we're gonna visit up north are gonna be new to us, cause this is as far north as we came last time, La Paz. So yeah, really looking forward to seeing all the other areas. Probably gonna have quite a lot of videos still coming out from here. I think we're gonna try and about four, five, maybe six more. We've only got uh, two more weeks here in Mexico. So we're gonna try and make the most of it. So if you like this video, just drop a like as always to support us. Subscribe if you like to see more videos like this. Follow us on Instagram and we'll see you in the next one.